Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use the System File Check Utility as well as a few other methods on how to hopefully repair Windows system file errors you are experiencing. So while there are different switches available within the SFC command itself, there are different things we can do with the command. So most of the time SFC and then space forward slash TNL is one of the most common ways that the command is used. However, not only showing that way, I want to show another couple methods on how to hopefully resolve some corrupt files you guys are experiencing on your computer. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we are going to start by opening up the start menu. You just left click on the start button one time. I'm going to type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that one time and then left click on run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt you want to left click on yes now we're going to have a few commands in the description of the video I want you guys to copy them one at a time we're going to run one command at a time let it go and then we're going to move on to the next one so just try each one see if it resolves the problem if not then you can go ahead later and try and run the next command so the first one I'm going to run is the check disk utility. So I'm going to just right click on the top bar of this command prompt window after I've copied the command from the description of my video. And then I'm going to do edit and paste. So again, you can also type it in. So chk dsk space forward slash f and then another space forward slash r. should say the type of this file is ntfs, cannot lock current drive. Check disk cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts? You want to type the Y key on your keyboard, hit enter. So then I would suggest closing out of any open programs and applications you have still open on your computer and restart your device. So I'm going to close out of here. And now I'm going to go ahead and restart our computer here.
Okay, so you just want to let this thing run, and once it's done, I would suggest restarting your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.